Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel, crew members. And if you are new here to the channel, welcome to Spent Too Much Diecast. Today, we are going to be unboxing some new die casts that I actually just saw in the stores the other day. Um, we have Harley Quinn in the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. And then we have the Joker in the 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429. And I had no idea that these were coming out. So um, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm gonna kinda do some explaining on some of the versions we've had out so far, but this is not the first time that we have seen a Harley Quinn vehicle. And then here is the back. And this is new, I've never seen this on the box before. Hmm. And it's on both of them. I found these at Walmart. Oh, you know what these are? These are security tags. So that kind of stinks. They put a security tag. This is so if you go through the exit, it goes off. That is weird. I wonder if this is a Walmart that is doing this or if this is coming from the factory. That kind of sucks because I do like to save um, the boxes. So now at least they didn't like put it over the logo or something, but oh, that stinks. They should at least put it on the bottom under the barcode or something rather than on the side there. But have you guys seen that before? I have not. This is the first time. But you can tell it is a security tag that when you go through the thing, if you don't deactivate, it goes off. But let's go ahead and get these unboxed. We'll take a look at the item numbers. We'll take a look better at the vehicles and the characters. And then, like I said, at the end, I will do a little bit of explaining. All righty, and we are back. All right, so I got everything unboxed, got everything out. So I guess what we'll do is go ahead and start with Harley Quinn's. So again, this is Harley Quinn in the 1957 um, Chevy Bel Air. So the box, this one might have three item numbers. Uh, the box and the two characters or the car. So the box is showing 33087. The box is 33087. Her figure is 33107. 33107. And the vehicle is 33106. 33106 scale 132nd 1957 Chevy Bel Air. There it is. So I guess we'll start off with the figure first and then we'll go to the vehicle. So basically just a quick um, behind of the, I should say, how they're doing these is so usually they just release the car in 132nd. Jada has now started releasing the vehicle and a figure. So basically these figures are the, um, they used to be metals die cast, um, metal figs. Now they're Jada metal figs. I don't know if they still consider them as metals die cast, but basically they do sell figures like this without vehicles. Um, they used to sell these individual when they first started and then they went to like a five pack. They also sell them in like a 25 pack or a 20 pack, stuff like that. So metal figs have been around for a while. They're called nano metal figs. So now what Jade has been doing is releasing a figure with the vehicle. Like I said, at the end, I'll kind of explain it, but like here's another one that they offer in a, um, a five pack or something like that. So the figures have been around for a while now they're kind of integrating them with vehicles so we'll go ahead and take a look at harley quinn first and this is all die cast it's one solid die cast casting with they're all connected to the same style base 
but you can see good detail on her face with the red and black outfit holding her mallet. And these figures stand um, just under two inches. So just under two inches tall. So that's cool. So now you get a figure to go with your car. Like I said, stay tuned to the end. I got some bonus stuff to show off too. So now we'll go ahead and look at the Bel Air. Um, I think this is the first time I have the Bel Air in this scale. I do know that we have them in the bigger version. I think one of them we opened was that um, purple and black one. So of course with the 130 seconds, the only thing you have are opening doors. Um, I do have some detail here. You got the Chevy logo. Um, all that bumpers are plastic. All the chrome is plastic. You got a little bit of detail on the hood and this is a nice two-tone paint job. And there was a sticker holding the door shut so there is a little bit of um, glue residue which I'll have to clean off later. That's what you see there on the door. So it does have these black like five spoke wheels which are pretty nice. Um, this is painted um, silver. You got silver along the door. This piece in here is plastic. It is silver. Take a look at the inside. And again, how are the door jams? No, no paint on the door jams. A little bit of overspray, but that's about it. So the interior is all black. No accessory colors, no gauge stickers, nothing like that. And then you got Bel Air on the back corner. Going to the back, all this plastic is chrome does have the Chevy logo again of course the trunk or nothing opens and the passenger side will be the same I got a little blemish down here which hopefully it's just dirt take a look in there nothing too special there and then this is kind of cool so this side is black black on top red on the bottom this one's red on top black on the bottom and then they put the um, diamonds on there so the other thing that's cool with these vehicles is they usually mock them over the character so you can see this one is well, I guess if you look at it this way you have the red and the black like her outfit black and red black and red so that is pretty cool so they usually mock the car after the character they've been doing this for all of them so far um, not just the 130 second scale but also the one um, 24th all right so now what we'll do is the joker and then we'll do that comparison so box is showing 33090 33090 the figure is 33113 and then the vehicle is 33112 scale 132nd 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429. And let's take a look at this figure. So, again, it is the nano metal fig. You can see full detail for the face, nice purple color for the outfit and the base. There is the back. Joker with his big smile with his arms crossed so that one is pretty cool all right now we'll take a look at the Mach 1 I don't know I think we have one other one I think the Fast and the Furious had a version of this one but you got the Jada license plate on the front that whole grill is plastic of course again only opening doors on this plastic lip that's connected to the base you got these five spoke chrome wheels with a nice white side with a half of a smile, could you say? Ooh, these ones do have side mirrors. Okay, inside door jams, again, not painted, and just an all black casting again, no gauges, 
no chrome, nothing like that. Ooh, there's a NOS bottle in the middle though. Yeah, make it go fast. All right, on the back, okay, there's no license plate or anything. It does have the Mustang logo. They do put some paint for the taillights and this wing looks like it is not installed right. <laughs> not, if I try to move it, it's gonna break, but you can see one side is in farther than the other side, so it looks really crooked. But then you have these window vents in plastic that are also green like the wing. And again, this one did have a sticker on the side as well. That's the residue from it. I don't like when they put the stickers. I don't think there's a need to. The doors aren't gonna open anyways, and then you just get this sticker residue. And imagine if you keep this thing in the box, that eventually that sticker will eat through the paint. So, but there is the passenger side. There is the smile. So there is the Ford for Joker. And again, if you look at it, it mocks it after the character. So you got the purple, which is the outfit of Joker. And then the white is gonna be his face with the smile. And then the back is his green hair. <laughs> See how they do that? Pretty cool. I like how they, they model them after the character. So there you go, guys. There is another unboxing of Harley Quinn and Joker and their vehicles. So that is a cool one. Like I said, I did not know that these were coming out. Um, I was at Walmart and I was looking and it caught my eye and I was like, do I have these? And I wasn't sure if I had them or not. And the reason why I was getting confused is because they did release a Harley Quinn already. They released this one and they released a Joker already, which was this one. So I do have an unboxing on these if you wanna go check them out. These were released with only the cars, no characters. But if you remember from that video, I went out and I bought characters. So see, now they actually took these two and actually made their own vehicles for them. Because when I did this unboxing, I bought these and added them to my cars. You couldn't, you couldn't buy these cars with figures. And then when I was out shopping for um, the metal figs, I also got the updated version. So I have the, the Suicide Squad of Harley Quinn and Joker. So they can go with the cars as well. And then it did come with this old school Joker and then this black and white um, Harley Quinn. So you can buy metal figs um, before they started adding them to cars. So now Jada actually sells certain cars with figures. Certain cars are sold just by themselves. All these metal figs are sold by themselves. I think the Suicide Squad came in a pack with a bunch of other members, but I just bought them individually. So it is cool that you can now take your 132nd cars and your nano metal figs and you can mix and match and all that good stuff with different characters and all that so when i saw it in store i was a little confused because i know that i had these but then they re, -re they re-released new cars with the figures so now we have two different um joker and harley quinn so it's kind of like well this is the concept and that's the older of course this is a chevy so um I mean, it's kind of cool now. So we got, and you can see they kind of went with the same theme with the black and white. So now we have two different versions of Harley Quinn and two different versions of the Joker. And then I don't have them right in front of me right now, but they also did. Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. They did also release them in the 124th scale. So there's Joker. Here is Harley Quinn. And then they even had characters with them. Bam and bam. So this is what we have so far. So these two are the identical cars. They did the both scales. Just this one did not have a figure, but I added the figure. And then this one, they had both scales. The Joker came with the big one, and then I added the smaller one. 
and I think that one fits better than the, I think the other one's the old school one. So <laughs> if you like Joker and Harley Quinn, if you like Batman, these are what you can get. And then Batman, oh, don't even get me started with the Batman ones because the Batman, they have a whole bunch of Batman cars in both 124th with characters, 124th without characters, 132nds with and without characters. So they got a whole bunch of Batman ones. So if you want to see the unboxing on this one, go check it out. It was a cool one. If you want to see the other one too, that was that one. But there we go. There's a quick little update. I know this video became a little bit longer than I wanted to, but um, sometimes at the end of my videos, I do like to give an update or a recap if I have opened other similar videos. That way, if you guys want to check them out, you can always go back on the channel and see what we have unboxed already. So there we go. Hopefully you guys can track these down. Like I said, I saw them at Walmart and I picked them up. I did not, I tried looking online. I only saw one of them on eBay. So I don't know if these are a newer release now or if they're gonna be coming or what, but there you go. If you're a DC fan or if you just like these certain models. So there it is, I'll stop rambling. I'll do my spiel and then we can end this video. So if you guys haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. That way you can join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew. And then also hit that bell notification. That way you guys can get notified every time we put up a new video. And then again, I wanna say thank you to all the crew members out there who like, um, share, subscribe, watch, all that good stuff, comment. I appreciate each and every one of you crew members. If you're new to the channel and you have not hit the subscribe button, definitely do that. That way you can become a crew member and keep up to date with all these awesome unboxings. So there we go. And check out our Facebook and Instagram. Facebook will have a picture album on every single car we unbox. So you can go back, see more pictures, see item numbers, all that good stuff. But there we go. There is another unboxing here at Spent Too Much Diecast. I hope everybody enjoyed it, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page, where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day.